A local man who is friends with a person taken hostage by Hamas is going to Israel today. ABC 7 News reporter Gloria Rodriguez joins us live with this story. And Gloria, what is he hoping to accomplish here? Yeah, well, Julian, he's going to Israel to visit the site where his friend was taken captive by Hamas and other areas where attacks happen. And he tells me he realizes it will be emotional. It will be very hard. I, I know a lot of people who have been over the past few months on similar solidarity missions or trips. Um, and they've all said the same thing. that It's very, very difficult, but very, very important to go. Aaron Catler lives in Berkeley and is the CEO of Upstart, a national Jewish nonprofit based in Oakland. He is close friends with one of the hostages being held in Israel, Hirsch Goldberg Poland, and his family. Hirsch is originally from Berkeley. He and his family were living in Israel when he was taken hostage from the Nova Music Festival on October 7th. He was severely injured, his arm blown off, and was last seen alive in Hamas custody headed to Gaza. The music festival site is one of the places Aaron will be visiting. He also plans on spending time with Hirsch's family. So my friends John and Rachel, Hirsch's parents, we all grew up together in Chicago and then lived together here in Berkeley. Um, and they've been in Israel now for a bunch of years. Um, but what they what they keep saying is, you know, hopefully when I get there, I'll be able to welcome Hirsch home with them uh, as they're as they're praying for every day. And if not, I will be there to do whatever I can for them. Palo Alto resident Randy Brenowitz recently went on a similar trip with nearly 20 people. It was organized by the Florence Melton School of Adult Jewish Learning. She was Melton's international president and visited places Hamas attacked, including the location of the music festival. And we saw cars piled up like you would see in a junkyard in the U.S., except they were burned cars that had been burned by those young people who were trying to escape the attack and were um, were burnt alive. I, you, I could hardly breathe while I was there, to be perfectly honest. I, 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 I couldn't imagine what it must have been like. And the Melton Group also volunteered with humanitarian needs while there. As far as Hirsch, unfortunately, his family has not gotten an update on him, and it's unclear exactly where he is right now. But this comes as U.S. and Mideast mediators have appeared optimistic in recent days that they were closing in on a deal for the release of the over 100 hostages held by Hamas. Aaron is also taking letters and packages from the local community to Hirsch's family so they know people here in the Bay Area are thinking about them. Gloria Rodriguez, ABC 7 News. Julian, Kristen. Okay, thank you so much, Gloria.